Okay, in this lecture, uh, um, we covered uh, what sampling variability is. Sampling variability is, okay, let's see, this is a population of uh, mu of 50, and which is population mean of 50, and a standard deviation of 20. And let's say the population is over uh, 100 million people. And uh, okay, instead of wor uh, working on the uh, uh, parameters, uh, population parameters, you know, in most cases uh, we use samples. We uh, we work on sample statistics. Let's say uh, we take 100 out of uh, 100 million population as a sample. Okay, the histogram of uh, 100 sample values might look like this. Suppose it looked like this. If we take a different 100 sample values out of the entire population, the histogram or distribution may look like this. Let's say if we take a, a different uh, 100 sample values from the population, it might look like this. They are all similar, but each time it's different. You know, it's a randomness in nature. You know, you can't always pick the same, uh, same, uh, same samples. So, you know, it's understandable. But because we are taking the samples from the same population, it kind of have a really similar uh, attributes and characteristics. You know, even if it's different samples. For instance, the first histogram example. You know, this first 100 sample values you know the mean was 48.91 and the second histogram you know the mean was uh, 49.26 and the third example I showed you uh, the meaning of the, the, the sample was 51.75 so um, they are around 50 you can say you can tell because you know uh, the population is population mean, which is mu, is 50. You know, and uh, we are sampling from the same population. It tends to have really similar values, even if they are sample, sam different samples. You know, taking the samples from different different portions of the population still have a very similar uh, characteristics and attributes, just like that. But because it's just a part, not the whole population, the value is going to be different in most cases. And but you know these are acceptable uh, marginal errors because you know it's co coming from the same population and these differences are uh, expected. And uh, you know if we, if we keep taking different samples, you know samples from different po um different portion of the population let's say we keep doing it we did it three times right but if we keep taking samples same in 100 sample values from the population you know we make you know we we, we get a results like this for example so what we are interested in is you know okay so we know that these are gonna be there's gonna be a range of you know differences range of errors you know from the uh, population mean which is mu you know it's supposed to be 50 you know as a population mean is supposed to be 50 but samples tend to have some errors or a margin of errors in this case you know it was little less than 50 and even more less than 50 and little over 50 little more over 50 you know so these there's a range of errors from the mean a pop population you know parameter you know sample statistics you know there are some degree of error you know so if we keep taking the uh, you know sample statistic from from you know let's say are we focusing on the mean sample means you know it's suppose I take one thousand more completely random samples from one people okay so Okay, we repeated about ten times last time, but what if we repeated one thousand times, you know? 
and uh, turn into a, a histogram, you know. Most of the time means around 50. Sometimes, you know, there are outliers and the mean could be 48, 46, and 44 sometimes, or for 56 sometimes. But majority of times the means gonna be around 50 or 48, between 48 and 52. And you can tell a standard deviation of about 2. Why 2? Why can I eyeball, you know, and say 2? And standard deviation is 2. And, okay, let's see. Well, before we get into that, let's see. How about if we keep, still keep doing it and uh, get samples, 100,000 samples, sample means from the population? What, what's going to happen? Now it's going to look like this. Oh, uh, the mean of this distribution sample mean is 49.9. Now it's 49.99. It's getting, you know, uh, extremely close to the actual population mean. Kind of understandable, right? Because the sample, I mean, mean, you know, we're getting samples from one 100,000, you know, sam samples of 100. So it's probably getting close to the actual size of the population so it's no wonder it's getting close to the actual population mean and uh, uh, standard deviation is about 2.002 how can you how can you tell the standard deviation is you know about 2 from here you know we can eyeball it and we can kinda tell it's 2 why is that? because you know Remember Z score, you know. Or oh, you know, it is told, it is said that the uh, close to okay within uh, three you know st three in in Z score within uh, st uh, st three standard deviations, almost everything is gonna fit, you know three standard deviations, you know, if it's the z-score, you know, from here to here, one, two, three standard deviations, and in this way, one, two, three, between these two, you know, almost 100% of the entire population is going to be there. So, um, if I turn it into a z-score, you know, it's going to be minus one, minus two, minus three. So, This is going to be a um, you know standard deviation uh, minus one. This is a uh, you know in if this score is you know if this is a standard deviation w minus one on z score and this is two and three. Okay, in this case, you know if it you know if if we fit this in a normal distribution, then it's gonna be a uh, you know so this is gonna be two right so if we keep doing it it's gonna be a normal uh, distribution and it would have ultimately eventually it would have a mean of 50 and standard deviation of two because standard deviation uh, z score is of it's usually about up to three one two three so in this case the one unit is going to be 2. So one standard, de one standard, devi okay, standard division of 2, uh, you know, okay. Mean, you know, this is not the actual mean, but it's the expected value, you know, because it's a sample, these are samples. But from, from, from millions of, you know, numbers of uh, sampling, we can kind of expect that the, the, the mean is going to be 50. So that's why we call it expected, the expected value of M, which is 50, Ex expected value of M, Ex expected value of mean, sample mean. And the standard deviation for that is going to be, you know, called a standard error of M. What does it mean? What, is, what, it, what it means is that the, uh, you know, the st standard error of M standard error of MS2, what it means is that the typical amount of sampling error for 
for the means is two points. That's what it, what it means. Mostly it's going to be 50, but you know, uh, it tends to differ from from the from the mean by two points. That's what it means.